guys, I have here my travel makeup bag because I am going on a trip for work and my previous video was about my carry-on bag. I will link that below. Now it's all about makeup and beauty. I want to talk about two things in this video. One is what's in this bag, of course, and the other thing is this. This is the death of me when it comes to domestic travel because I never really check in a bag unless it's going to be a really big trip for a really long time or it's an international flight. So I am going to not check in a bag and I had to fit all of my liquids and my gels in a bag. And this takes me a really long time because I have to strategically think, okay, which liquids are really worth taking and have it all fit in here. So the eye drops that I use because I have really bad red eye, it's just like a ridiculous red eye problem that I have. And this is the Sustain Gel Drops, it's the lubricant eye gel. Then I grabbed this kit from Ulta that had these clear containers. I love getting them from Ulta. One time I bought these types of containers at Target and they leaked really bad but I haven't had an issue with the ones from Ulta. So in these, I put my nighttime moisturizer, my daytime moisturizer, and my BB cream. So in this one, I just scooped up some product from here, which is the Carez Greek Yogurt Advanced Nourishing Sleeping Facial, and this is my nighttime cream. Love this stuff, can't go without it, so I knew I had to bring a little bit with me. This right here, although it looks like a foundation because it's tinted, it's my daily moisturizer, and I just mentioned this in my No Foundation Days video. This is the Clinique City Block Sheer Oil-Free Daily Face Protector with SPF 25. This does come out sheer, although it does look like it's tinted. It's a sheer moisturizer. And in this last one right here, I have my Garnier BB Cream for combination to oily skin. I have just been breaking out from my last review which was the benefit big easy that thing broke me out so i just don't want to try anything new right now and this is just hands down the easiest one to work with it just really works well for my skin and i really love it okay this next thing looks really gross this does not look right in here but trust me, it's my toner. This is the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Oil-Free Toner, and now I know why they put it in a blue bottle. And then in here, and I love that there's a pump by the way, it's my Nourish All-in-One, what is it called? Facial Cleanser from Trader Joe's. Love this stuff, it can remove makeup, it's also gentle enough for multiple uses, and I just really like it, so I'm gonna bring it with me. And this is my favorite moisturizer. It's the Aveeno Daily Moisturizing Lotion for all over the body, and my Becca Ever Matte Poreless Priming Perfector, of course. And the last thing I have in here, I'm really excited, oh no, two things. Two things I have left in here. The first thing I'm gonna talk about is the Refresh PM Lubricant Eye Ointment. Like I said, I have eye issues. That one's for nighttime, and it's like, really really thick and gunky so I can't even see anything before I go to sleep I put that in my eyes and then this is the macadamia natural oil deep repair mask I love that I found this packet guys I found this right when you're leaving Ulta or right right around the time you're about to check out you kind of just you're standing there in line waiting for your turn and then there's just a bunch of stuff there. And of course, I saw this and I instantly grabbed it. It's $4, but I think you get a good amount of product in here. So I think I'm going to be able to split it up into two uses. And I wash my hair every other day, so it's going to be fine. I'm just really excited that I can bring this with me. And I decided not to bring toothpaste and shampoo with me because I could not fit it in here. And those are two things that I can easily grab at a drugstore across the street or something. Now we're moving on to this bag, and this is from Forever 21. I have a smaller version of this that I use every single day. So in here, I have another makeup bag. It's kind of excessive. But this is a smaller makeup bag from Victoria's Secret. Oh my gosh, it's so bright, I apologize. But I love it. It's from my sister, so thank you. I have some of my makeup in here, and I wanted to kind of keep everything separate because the bag is pretty big. Okay, so in here I have the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Diffused Light. And this one is the one that has like a yellowish tone to it. And I set my under eye concealer with this and I've really been liking it. I've only been doing it for about a week now and it's been great. My favorite Neutrogena Shine Control Powder and this is just to set 
everything. Absolutely love that and it's just a must have for me. And to prime my eyelids, I pretty much always use a Maybelline color tattoo. And this one is barely branded. I think I'm doing pretty well with this. I'm hoping that it will be done in the next couple months so I can finally put it in a favorites video. No, not a favorites video, an empties video. I've already put this in a favorites video. And then I have my lip balm, my Carmex Moisture Plus. I should actually have this one in my carry-on bag, so I should switch that. And then this is one of my favorite lipsticks. This is Max Syrup. I'm also thinking about bringing MAC Snob, which is what I'm wearing right now. So I think I'm just going to put that in my bag. And of course, Anastasia's Brow Wiz. And this is in Brunette. And then I also have it in Caramel. This is the Lorac Pro To Go palette. And with this, I am able to leave everything else behind. Seriously, guys. I have here my eyeshadows right and then I also can use this one right here as a highlight on my cheekbones and then on the other side I have my blushes and my bronzer that's it I don't need anything else so this is definitely a must-have for travel I couldn't have purchased it at a better time and then I have a Ziploc bag here of some cotton pads and these are my favorite ones I get them from CVS and this is a brand new one for me. This is the Bumble and Bumble Pret a Powder. I saw Miss Glamorazzi using this, talking about it all the time, so I finally picked it up from Sephora. I'm using it right now. I don't know if you can see it kind of working, maybe. I don't know. I think I just kind of messed up my hair. I like that it kind of gives you a little bit of volume, and I definitely need that with my shorter hair and especially when I straighten it. And I got a case of cotton swabs from Target and also... My favorite floss is the Oral-B Glide. And then I have my claw that I always need because I use this to pull my hair back to wash my face. I use it to put my hair up when I don't want to wash it in the shower. And of course, one of my essentials always is a dry shampoo. And this is the Oscar Blondie Pronto Dry Shampoo. And this is a powder. I love using this. This has been my go-to one recently. And then I'm going to end this with makeup brushes. I just kind of put them in Ziploc bags. I like to keep them clean. I don't want them rubbing up against everything else. This is the Real Techniques powder brush. And this is just a nice, big, fluffy brush for all over powdering. The buffing brush, or yeah, the buffing brush. So I'm going to use this for my BB cream. And this is the blush brush and the setting brush. I really like the setting brush for under eye concealer and spot concealing. I just think these are amazing brushes. Recently, I've been using the Real Techniques sponge to apply my BB cream, but with travel, I just think the brushes are a lot easier, so that way I don't have to worry about washing my sponge every morning with the very little cleanser that I am taking with me. And that is it for my travel makeup bag. I try to not take too much with me. I don't really care about changing up my makeup look every day or anything. I just stick with the basics when it comes to travel. So please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will see you all again really soon. Bye.